Questions 36 to 39 in the ASA red paper. So for question 36, we've got to find a pair of structural isomers. Uh, structural isomers are two molecules that have identical chemical formula, but differ structurally. Um, so basically you sort of go through A, B, C, and D and see which one has a pair of structural isomers. Um, so we know that glucose has the uh, chemical formula C6H12O6 from the stem. Um, and that fructose has this sort of uh, structure. And from there, we can sort of figure out the chemical formula of fructose. Um, so you just sort of count up each of the individual atoms. So uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six oxygens. We have one, uh, two, three, four, five, six carbons and we have one three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve hydrogens <clears throat> so um, from there you can clearly see that gl glucose and fructose have the same chemical formula but they differ structurally thus meaning that they are structural isomers. So for 36, A is the correct answer. So in question 37, we've got to find two compounds that have the same empirical formula. Um, so the empirical formula is the simplest ratio of the elements in a compound. Um, so say for example, we have a compound such as S2O2. The empirical formula of that would be SO. Similarly, if we had a um, compound that was 6 uh, S6O6, the empirical formula for that would also be um, just SO. Um, so basically, as you can see, for every one sulfur, we have one oxygen. Um, that's the ratio. We have a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, and the empirical formula of each of these molecules is the simplest sort of ratio um, of the elements in its compound. All right. So to figure out the empirical formula for fructose, um, we basically just uh, divide all of these numbers by their largest common factor. So um, they all can be divided by six. So to fi figure out the empirical formula, we divide everything by six. So we have um, CH2O. So the empirical formula for fructose is CH2O. Um, the empirical formula for succinic acid on the other hand, so um, they can all be divided by two. So C2O2H5. Um, from there, we cannot divide um, this further. There's no common factor. Um, so that is the uh, simplest ratio of the elements in the compound, and therefore that is the um, empiric formula. So as you'll notice, um, since uh, these two empirical formulas are not equal, um, therefore, we can say that fructose and succinic acid do not have the same empirical formula. All right, so from there, we can just uh, go onwards to B. So with glucose, we have, again, the same chemical formula as fructose. So therefore, we can say that it has the same um, empirical formula as glucose. So glucose's empirical formula is CH2O. Um, and to figure out glyceraldehyde's, um, glyceraldehyde's empirical formula, we divide everything by the largest common factor, which in this case is three. So we get CH2O. Um, and as you'll clearly notice, they are identical. So therefore, um, glucose and glyceraldehyde have the same empirical formula. And therefore, um, for question 37, B is the correct answer. Mm. Question 38. Um, the reaction producing malic acid from fumaric acid is an example of. All right, so um, this question requires you to understand the definitions of reduction reaction, oxidation, hydration, and hydrolysis reactions. Um, this is just something you have to have memorized before you go into the GAMSAT. Um, and I've got them all up here for you to read. Um, just note that reduction and oxidation reactions, they have a, one extra definition, so a reduction reaction um, involves the gain of electrons, whilst oxidation reaction involves the loss of electrons. Um, uh, but we'll sort of come across that in future questions. It's not really important for this one in particular. 
Um, so basically to answer the question from um, having understood all of these definitions um, is to figure out firstly the chemical formula of malic and fumaric acid. So, um, so for fumaric acid, we have um, just counting the uh, number of carbons, etc. In the structure, we have uh, four carbons, um, four oxygens, and four hydrogens. Um, and malic acid um, has four carbons, five oxygens, and six hydrogens. All right, so um, basically we just figure out what's the sort of change in the chemical formula going going from fumaric to malic acid. Um, and that is a gain of H2O, two, two hydrogens, one oxygen. So therefore this is a hydration reaction. Therefore C is the correct answer for question 38. Question 39. A new artificial sweetener has been produced by replacing all the hydroxyl groups attached directly to ring carbons and glucose with chlorine atoms. The empirical formula of this inchlorinated glucose would be. All right. So we have this uh, structural diagram of glucose here, and the ring carbons are located one, two, three, four, five in this order. So those are the ring carbons. Uh, it's basically all of them excluding this one right here. Right. Um, so we're replacing all of uh, the uh, hydroxyl groups attached directly to the ring carbon. So one, two, three, four, with chlorine. So in essence, um, we're going to be losing four hydroxy groups. So subtract four hydroxy groups. So we're essentially subtracting um, H4O4, right? Um, and we're, but we're going to be gaining four chlorines. All right, so going from our initial um, our initial chemical formula for glucose, we lose H4O4, so we get C6H8O2, um, O2, um, and we also gain 4Cl4. <clears throat> so we gain four chlorines. Um, so we get C6H8O2. Cl4. So this is the uh, chemical formula for the molecule that we get at the end, but uh, we've got to find the empirical formula. So we divide everything by the largest common factor, which in this case is 2, um, giving us C3H4OCl2, um, which if we rearrange that, Uh, is the answer C. So C is the correct answer for question 39.